So I found this tasty generative broccoli and I thought I wanted to share it with you. It has two parameters that allow me to tweak it a bit. Um, I can rotate the stems here. It is made using a programming technique called recursion where a function or a node in our case is calling itself. And the key to recursions is that you always need to define a stop condition. Uh, otherwise, the program would never finish because the function would call itself indefinitely. So the stop condition in our case here is that the maximum number of stem levels must not be exceeded. I can show you what this means if I turn this down to one. We see for each cylinder we're drawing two more cylinders. And as we drag the value up again, you can nicely see how this builds up. Now, one thing up front, the performance of this patch isn't really great, as you can see. Um, to get it much more performant, we'd use a drawing technique called instancing. But in order to not dilute this tutorial with too many things, let's just turn off the perf meter and ignore the performance for now. Okay, so that's our goal. Let's start from scratch. Creating a new document. The first thing we need is a scene window and a root scene node. And let's right away also create a plane and the directional light. And we create one more input here. Next thing would be to draw a cylinder, but we do this already inside of a sub node. So we're creating a node called stem and we enter it to place a cylinder here, which will return. And we also take in a transformation. Let's see how this looks from the outside if we connect it. Okay, the cylinder is kind of halfway stuck in the plane, so we're going to add a translate here to move it up exactly 0 0.5, which is half the height of the cylinder. So now it's kind of nicely sitting on top of the plane. Also, let's make it a bit thinner. Okay. So now we said for each cylinder we want to draw two more cylinders. So we could be tempted to simply call the stem node here, but this would immediately lead to a freeze of the program. So what we do instead, we put this in an if region. Now the content of the if region is not executing as long as the condition is not met. So we can safely put the stem node here now and connect the entity already with a group to the main cylinder. Nothing happening yet because the condition is not met. So what about this condition? We wanted to say uh, this should only execute if our recursion depth is less than a given value. So this will be our depth. And you notice as I create this input, it also appeared here, of course, because that's the same node. Um, and we want to say for each call of the node, we want to increase the depth. So we take this value and put an ink node here, which increases the value by one. And now, uh, we still don't see anything. We want to take the translation or the transformation also for this stem. And right now the recursion is not yet happening because we have uh, uh, increased this value, this limiting value here is still sitting at zero. So if we turn this up to five, what's happening is that actually now we are already drawing five cylinders, but they're all drawing at the same 
uh, spot. So what we need to do is we would we want to move them up a bit each. So if we move them up by one, then we see we are actually already drawing six cylinders. The main one, the first one, and then uh, five more, as we have limited this to five. Mm, let's uh, make sure that every level of cylinders, they're also getting a bit smaller, so that we're using a uniform scale. You see, I can scale them down here. And then let's also move them to the side a bit so that we have now space for the second uh, arm or branch. And here we're going to simply uh, duplicate what we have here. But you notice uh, what happened here now is that immediately this stack overflow is showing. So what we want to do is uh, connect uh, quickly the limiting condition also here that we don't get this indefinite recursion. Um, now I take this out and also connect it to our group. Also connect the transformation, the main transformation. Now we still don't see anything because they are again a drawing on top of each other, but if I move them over here, you see the recursion happening in both uh, branches. Now let's also add some rotation. We're gonna put the rotation between here. And we can play with it to get some nice things happening. As you can see, this is only happening now for all the left leaning uh, stems and the right leaning stems are here. So it's also inside a rotate here. But here let's take a vector join 3D so that we can uh, control this value from the outside. So I'm calling this uh, rotation. And you notice as I created this input, it also appeared here and here, of course, again, because this is the same node. I'm connecting this here and here. And now from the outside, I can control the rotation of the right arms. Right. Um, let's also return the scaling. And again, as I create this, it uh, also creates these inputs here and here. Now I can create the scaling, tweak the scaling here. And now let's uh, also expose this uh, maximum depth uh, parameter um, so that we can control it from outside. We call it max depth. And again, don't forget to connect it also here and here. Now we can control that from the outside. And be careful, don't set it too high because this will also immediately freeze your machine. Mm. What else can we do here? Play a bit with these parameters. Ah, and finally, the let's add some green. And we're going to do this by using the PBR material node which allows us to specify the color and we want the color to be influenced by the depth 
uh, of the recursion. So we are taking the depth value using a map node here. There you see that the map doesn't work for integers. So we are simply taking this value and converting it to a float, to float 32. Now this is going to be a value between zero and the max depth. And we want to use this as the saturation value. So from zero to something around one. You can also turn the lightness down a bit. All right, that's basically it for this tutorial. You may now enjoy your recursive broccoli.